This is Chicago's very own WGN News at 10. One last stick salute from longtime Blackhawk Jonathan Taves. Fans packing the stadium tonight to witness the end of an era, the captain's final game with the team. Dave's fans celebrating the Hawks legend's stellar career. Yeah, they came from near and far to be at tonight's send-off. WGN's Jenna Barnes is joining us live from the United Center with reaction from those fans. Jenna. And Lourdes and Ray, it's fitting. Taves scored a goal at tonight's game. Fans tell us there is no place they would rather be on such a historic day. A sea of Taves jerseys filed into the United Center. Fans eager to watch their star in action one last time. The final na national anthem for Jonathan Taves. Witnessing uh, history and uh, legacy. The captain's history of 15 seasons, 10 playoff appearances, and three Stanley Cups. Jonathan Taves' legacy lives in these fans. And kind of form the Blackhawks dynasty as we know it these days. Patrick Kane as well, like when they came, like they just completely started a legacy for the Hawks. Um, and to see them kind of like move on and stuff is really difficult because I mean they're the faces of the franchise. Taves impact is most apparent in the next generation of hockey players he inspired. Team Canada, um, the Olympics, I saw him score an overtime goal and I just saw him. I'm like, that's my favorite player. And I just then he's a Blackhawk and that's just how it rolled out. When Mason Fouser heard the rumors this game may be Taves last, he and his dad booked flights from Canada so they wouldn't miss the moment. It's the 14-year-old's first trip to Chicago. Because he was my hero forever, so I thought I'd come see him before he was retired. Great leader, that's what, how I always wanted to be, how I try to be. Um, through Stanley Cops, that's hard to do. I, that's a dream. A dream the youngest fans will hear about from their parents for years to come. She got to be a part of it and experience the, the last of it, but then she'll get to grow up and have the new era coming through and bring me to the games. <laughs> and some of the folks we talked to tonight are optimistic they'll see Taves back here in the not too distant future to retire his jersey. We're live at the United Center tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News. All right, Jenna, thank you so much.